This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, in this video we'll learn about uh, the technique to load a multi-piece IOL and in this video I'll be demonstrating the usage of uh, the C cartridge for loading the multi-piece lens and let's see how things are done. Now the multi-piece lens which you're using in this video is the Alcon MA60 AC lens. So let's just see the right orientation of the cartridge first. Now this is a C cartridge. The way it has to be held for loading is the nomenclature of the cartridge that is C has to be facing up and also the symbol of the IOL it has to be facing up. This ensures that the bevel is down and this is the right orientation. So when we flip it across, you can see these two knobs and this is not the right orientation. So before loading the lens, ensure that you're holding the cartridge the right way up. Uh, the cartridge is filled with OVD, that is HPMC, this is what I'm using now. The lens is held. The haptics have to be in the inverted S shape format. And this is how usually the lens is kept in the box. An important point to highlight. I prefer to always turn off the air conditioner when I'm loading the hydrophobic lenses. The reason is obvious. Cold temperature makes these lenses very stiff and hard and hence it's problematic for us to you know, handle them. Keeping them a little bit warm is definitely beneficial and it helps in loading as well as in implanting. So when you, before placing the lens into the cartridge, uh, since we are using a C cartridge which is slightly narrower than the recommended B cartridge, to prevent the kinking of the haptics, I just like to press the leading haptic against the lateral wall of the cartridge just to straighten it a bit. Uh, this ensures that it doesn't get bent and hence there's a lesser chance of it getting kinked. So once it is slightly straightened, the optic is gently placed inside the cartridge. The optic is pushed against the floor of the cartridge and then using the forceps, the back side of the optic is nudged forward. It's important for us to note that the haptic continues to remain straight rather than getting bent. This is the right way to do it. The optic is pushed until the haptics reaches this mark and then we stop it. The cartridge is now to be loaded onto the injector. Again, the orientation is the same. The markings on the cartridge have to be facing the surgeon. It is loaded in and locked. Now, with the plunger, the optic is gently pushed. Point to note here that the optic has to be pushing against the back side of the lens. And on rare occasions, there is a risk of the plunger overriding the optic. So this we should be mindful that it is not happening. Uh, so remember that the plunger has to be always at the base. And once we are certain that it is not overriding the optic, now is the time to place the cartridge into the incision. I prefer to usually stabilize the globe with a second instrument to the side port. And then the cartridge is maneuvered into the eye. And you can see that present the bevel is facing down and now as the haptic is being pushed i turn the bevel to the left side so you can see the bevel is now facing the left side and then the leading haptic is gently dropped behind the anter capsule and as the optic is being pushed now the cartridge is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction so that the optic does not flip and now we have got one haptic is in the back and the trailing haptic is out in the antechamber. At this point, it is a good idea to refill the chamber with OVD. In this case, I'm continuing to do without it because I felt the chamber was all right. And then using a Sinsky hook, the trailing haptic is gently dialed into the capsular bag. The other way to do is you can always use a forceps as well to guide the trailing haptic into the bag. But that was it. So this was a brief video on handling and loading and implanting multi-piece hydrophobic lens and most beginners find it very difficult to manage these lenses. So I thought it would be helpful for most of the beginner surgeons. That was it. Thank you for watching.